Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, welcome to the... <laughs> welcome to Fractal Bitcoin. I'm Chris, this is your daily Bitcoin news video, so make sure you are subscribed and follow the channel. And let's get right to the Bitcoin price update. Well, today's a special day. We hit another all-time high. Yeah, it was, what, $70,199. Yeah, it was about, I don't know, maybe three, four hours ago, or maybe five or six hours ago. But you can see after that, we dropped down all the way to into the 66,000 range. This, this is, you know, we had all this volatility back on March 5th, right? We peaked up here. We came all the way down below 60K. Now we made a new all-time high today. And we came down, but now we're right back up to current price, 68588 And look, this, these are the days. This is the bull run. We're going to be making new all-time highs quite often, we hope. But it definitely should happen. So let's get to some news articles. Well, here's an awesome video. I'm going to play this. Team Diamond Hands with Bitcoin. Let's go. This is uh, Dave Portnoy. And there's Elon Musk. <laughs> Watch this. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and there he is. By the dip. Dave Portnoy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good, right? That's good. So Jameson Lopp reporting here, Bitcoin up, Coinbase down. It's practically a law of physics. Yeah. I mean, what is it with Coinbase? Every time it pumps, it they go down that these days. And even Uncle Rockstar here says, it's time for Coinbase and Brian Armstrong to solve these crashes already. I like cheaper sats, but I doubt those buying Bitcoin ETFs like providing liquidity yeah, and look at, you know, you can see this is the little chart here. Look at this volatility. And again, I, I don't know, maybe Uncle Rockstar knows that it's because of Coinbase, but definitely Coinbase going down so often is not good. It doesn't feel right, and it also, it could hint toward some shady shenanigans going on, right? You know? So, all right, well, today is International Women's Day, so happy International Women's Day to all the women Bitcoiners including Isabella on the top left here. She's going to be on the Bitcoin panel in about two hours. So yeah, there's all these other ladies of Bitcoin. So happy Women's Day. Um, by the way, what is a woman? Uh, just kidding. <laughs> and here's Swan with a tweet here that says, Bitcoin is big. In fact, it's bigger than the internet. It's bigger than email, social media, and smartphones combined, and it's here to stay. That's a quote, actually, from Pierre Rochard. So, yeah, I mean, look, it, it's hard to comprehend this completely right now because Bitcoin hasn't become universal yet throughout the globe. But this, yeah, yeah. And here's Carl, who is also going to be on the Bitcoin panel in two hours. He says, the price of Bitcoin is the asset denominated in your local currency. The value of Bitcoin is the freedom technology securing the network and the amazing social infrastructure being built on top of it. Measured in value, we hit new all-time highs every single day. This is a good distinction. Because with Bitcoin, there's, of course, the price denominated in your local currency and yes, today we hit an all-time high in our local currency in, in the U.S. with the U.S. dollar. But the value of Bitcoin is much greater and more important to human beings, right? To help preserve our wealth, to help get away from this fiat scam that we've been in since 1913, right? So Bitcoin is the thing that's going to get us away from all that and help us build a flourishing economy and a flourishing society throughout the globe. And I'm not overstating it. Here's Bitcoin Sapiens. Uh, this, is, this is actually a quote from Max Kaiser, legend. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the quote is, the global hyperinflation wave is coming to every country on earth. Bitcoin is your only possible savior. 
And again, this sounds maybe hyperbolic or crazy, but uh, I'm telling you. All right, now here's a frog friend, meme lord of the highest caliber. This is a tweet from Run the Banks. Some say Bitcoin is a cult or a religion. If being economically responsible, having individual sovereignty, defending against financial tyranny, and securing a bright future is a religion, then call me a hardcore fundamentalist. Yeah, this is what people who don't understand Bitcoin, they look at it, they can think it's a cult or a religion because those of us who actually get it, we're so excited about it for good reason. So, yeah. So if it's a cult or whatever, I'm in. If that's what you want to call it, then that's what, it, you know, whatever. But it's really not, right? It's not a cult or a religion. It's just the truth. So Bit Block Boom is happening April 11th to the 14th. Yes, I'm going to be there. Are you? Let's meet up and hang out. And uh, today they gave a shout out, a big thanks to Ocean Mining, which is uh, Ocean uh, on a mission to radically decentralize Bitcoin mining for sponsoring the hotel key cards. Yeah, check out Ocean, ocean.xyz. It's a mining pool, I guess. And um, I'm, I don't use it and I'm, I don't do any mining yet. But uh, anyway, that's exciting. I'm excited for BitBlock Boom. Here's an awesome thread from Gandalf. I would short Bitcoin if there was an easy way to do it. That's what Bill Gates said six years ago when Bitcoin was at $9,600. Bitcoin is up 600% since then. Here are 21 other historically bad takes on Bitcoin. Yeah, so obviously Bitcoin saying he would short it if he could. Like, that's horrible take, right? It's just dumb. People who don't know what Bitcoin is, they talk and they're, they, they're dumb because they don't know. If they learn, then they wouldn't be dumb. But anyway, this is a thread. Look, here's number one. Nurel, Nurel, Nuriel Rabini, uh, Charlie Munger. Oh my God, Charlie Munger. Anyway, this is a thread. I'll link to it below as I always link to everything in the show notes. Oh, here's some good global fiat news for context. It's not really fiat, but kind of. Anyway, this is context, right, to Bitcoin. Kremlin reveals plans to create a politics-free BRICS blockchain-based payment system. So yeah, BRICS is the coalition of countries that are that are getting away from the U.S. dollar. They're create. They want. They they're done bowing down to the U.S. dollar. They're going to do their own thing. And anyway, they're kind of going to come up with a blockchain-based payment system. Apparently, Yuri Yusakov, an aide of Russian President Vladimir Putin, revealed plans to create a digital blockchain payment system for the BRICS bloc. Yushikov remarked that the countries of the group would benefit from implementing such a system for the use of governments, common people, and business, stating that it would be convenient, cost-effective, and free of politics. <laughs> okay. Right? Anyway, that's some of the news. But yes, the big news for us is Bitcoin reaches a new all-time high, above 70,000. These are exciting times. Seriously, enjoy these times. <laughs> I'm so glad I started my show about two and a half months ago, because for the next 18 months-ish, we're going to be in a bull run. And don't forget, Brian DeMint, uh, the Bitcoin CFO. Hi, my name is Les F. Go. <coughs> Let's go. Let's effing go. Okay, so this is our website, fractalbitcoin.com. Uh, we, we post everything here. You can always get all the our, our episodes and everything here. But on the top, you see it says, join our locals community. So come over here to locals. It's free. We just got our, we just got another member just now. It's free. We can hang out, talk Bitcoin. And of course, the Bitcoin panel, which is happening in two hours, it starts at 4 p.m. Eastern every Friday. And I have some awesome guests, including Carl and Isabella, also AC and Nick, Noddle and Hoddle. So it's going to be great. The Bitcoin panel is going to be awesome. It's a one-hour stream, so it's not too long, but we're gonna, we, we, we share a lot of good stuff. So uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow the channel, and I'll see you in the panel, and then I'll see you on Monday for another news video. Bye.